Wow, man, you seem to be in a way better mood. That LA sun must be doing something for you. Nope, I'm microdosing mushrooms, baby. Woo! So my first OnlyFans paycheck came in to pay off my sister's student loans. Because why the fuck not? That is your student loans. What? Paid in full by my penis. It's, it's really weird, but thank you. A blessing what you did for your sister. But no. did you ever think you should take that fucking money and buy your own fucking house? Today we are here to honor the passing of Grandpa Stevens. Zenny Galaxy just gained a thousand followers. Why? Why are you guys all saying W, bro? Why do you guys all fall in the people that send galaxies? Just stop sending galaxies. These people that are sending galaxies are literally gaining so much followers and they're making me knock this guy down. down. If you guys don't understand, galaxy gift means we have to knock this guy down, down. We just got a galaxy, so you gotta give me a chance, guys. Basically, when we get a galaxy, I have 30 seconds to get a gold mine. So right now, we're gonna put on a timer for 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds to get a gold mine, otherwise I have to knock it down. Come on, team gold mine, we need a gold mine. We need a gold mine to continue. We got 30 seconds to get a second gold mine. Come on, team gold mine. If you send a gold mine, I'm going to follow you right now. Whoever sends a gold mine right now, I'm going to follow you guys. If you want to get a follow from me and the whole... Researchers might have just figured out exactly what causes SIDS and how to prevent it. It's always been assumed that babies who have died of SIDS have stopped breathing and just not been able to wake themselves up. They found a reason. They followed over 700 babies and identified an enzyme called butyrylcholinesterase. Two to three days after birth, they took a blood sample. These blood samples found that the levels of butyryl cholinesterase in babies that eventually died from SIDS were significantly lower than other babies who did not die or ones that died from other causes. This enzyme helps you to startle awake when you're not breathing. And if these babies are deficient in it, it makes so much sense. This could mean that babies could be screened at birth for their risk of SIDS. And parents whose babies are at increased risk could have precautions in place to help prevent it. Imagine a world where SIDS could be prevented. This is incredible. God bless America! Did you go to the bakery to get all that cake? Yeah. My booty looks like it was made at IHOP, just like all the other pancakes. Disculpa? The cablas. Seriously, look at this thing. There's nothing here. I don't know if I can make this any more clear, but I love you. I want you, all of you, every day, for the rest of my life, no matter what. This is dedicated to the niggas that was down from day one. Welcome to Death Row. The time I publicly destroyed a bigot in Starbucks. This might sound fake, but I assure you, my life is stranger than fiction. I'll get a large warm milk, please. Warm milk? Get a life. They don't even sell that here. Actually, yeah, we do sell warm milk. Does that bother you? Imagine actually drinking that. I don't have to imagine. Oh, so you're an ace kit? So you just don't get laid? That figures. Yup, I'm a proud ace kit. And that has nothing to do with my preferences and beverages. Did you seriously just call that person an ace kit? What kind of world are we living in? Yep, I'm used to it though. That's what you get for being openly asexual, it seems. I'm literally a gay man, and I won't let you Jesus free aces shame me for having gay sex. People like you are hurting my community. I'm gonna go have sex with my boyfriend. Uh, buddy, you were the one shaming me for buying more milk. And now you're shoving the image of sex down a sex repulsed asexual's throat. Not a good look. And yes, I'm a proud Jesus free. We are no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. 
gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Did you hear what Jojo Siwa said about Kylie in her photo? Yeah, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, dot, 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 heart emoji, infinity emoji. That's amazing. It's just amazing. Ah! It burned me through the hole. <laughs> that was a great noise. <laughs> No, he's hot. I can't even say it. Your body's <laughs> rejecting it. Stop. Stop. our first trip together oh, hey everybody in first class i thought he was getting us first class tickets but he lied <laughs> well we all went 30 ab <laughs> but at least it's our first trip he's trying look at him Aww. look at y'all in first class oh it must be nice look at y'all separate we gave y'all water already <laughs> Because that's not cool. <laughs> he said first class to St. Louis. Look at me. <laughs> I'm going to visit his aunt. She's a great baker. <laughs> now look at you working over there at first class. Busy. <laughs> Hello, general mission. All right. This is our first time on a trip, everybody. Yay. He's talking about going to be in first class. He lied. In 38, if anybody looking for him. <laughs> what? Oh. That was wrong. Wow. He also told me about going to the Virgin Islands, but we going to St. Louis. Now that's a big difference. I'm about to frolic. Oh my God. I'm frolicking. I got on a pink shirt. So why do you want to work at McDonald's? Because I need the money. Excuse me? Because I deeply value McDonald's work culture and it's always been my dream job to become a McDonald's cashier. Um, can you explain this gap between your resume? Can you explain that gap between your teeth? Excuse oh, excuse um, me? During my time off, I was busy taking care of my family. But now that I'm ready to join the workforce again, I'm excited to make a huge impact in society by being a cashier. Do you have any questions for us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you give me the fucking job? I beg your pardon? Give me the so I've always worked at restaurants and for the first time I'm working at an office job nine to five and the rapport completely different. At a restaurant, it'll be a busy Saturday. My coworkers like, did you know snorting can make your bottle expand? And I'm like, no, I didn't. That's wild. The regular Steve sitting right there goes, hey guys, can we please change the subject? I'm trying to eat an omelet. And you're like, fuck off, Steve, take the free advice, you know? And then everyone laughs and you see him the next day. Now, rapport completely different. Someone's like, do you smoke weed? I'm like, oh, I've heard of it. I've tried once, maybe, ooh. I turned into one of those girls, I'm like, happy Friday, it's Friday, thank goodness it's Friday, <laughs> the sun's out on a Friday. Someone was like, what's your weekend plans? I said, oh, me and my husband are having a beach day. What? I'm gay. Why am I lying? I don't have a husband to fit in. I never thought I would miss hearing about the sexual escapades of the line cook and the host, but I'm dying for it. I'm dying for it. Well, y'all, the judge said... That is basically is common knowledge and that ignorance is no excuse for breaking the law and that motherfuckers is just out here automatically knowing that you ain't supposed to buy <laughs> edible underwear with a food stamp card. <laughs> but I ain't know that. I swear to God. Hello, my naughty marshmallows. So apparently you're not allowed to say sugar daddy on social media anymore. So please meet my glucose guardian. Why are you some straight guys so bloody pressed when a gay guy hits on them? Oh, uh, uh, hi there. My name's Charmander. And uh, I recently learned a new trick. No way, buddy. No fucking way. <laughs> uh, well... 
I can turn myself into a wolf. <laughs> can I show you? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bear with me here. Or should I say wolf with me here? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hell, <laughs> okay, one second. <laughs> He's pulling his cock out. Stop it. Get some help. Moses! Moses! Who the fuck is it? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening? It is me, the god of your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, 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 you, you must have the wrong number. This is no time for jokes. You must go back to Egypt and stand up to Pharaoh. Then you will lead the people back into the home. How the fuck am I going to do that? The people don't know me. I have no power that they have run away. I will be with you. Go to your sister Miriam and her brother Aaron and stand up to Pharaoh. You're looking at the face of someone who hasn't eaten cooked food in almost five years. You're looking at the face of somebody who finishes a porn movie after he's done wanking it. I'm a goddamn menace. I don't really have any plans. You know what I mean? I'm like the Joker. You're like the Joker. Do I look like a guy with a plan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with it if I got it. <laughs> Batman, you complete me. <laughs> My father was a drinker and a fiend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Heath. Goat. They tried oh to God. kill my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Denzel! Don't impersonate black men. Shout out John David Washington. Do you ever feel like you're desecrating like black people when you do shit like that? Not at all. Not at all. You feel like it's an honor, you're honoring them. No, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I feel like I'm just doing an impression. Just being Chester Marlon Hanks. Live in the flesh. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> what's your problem? I had a boyfriend. F him. F you, Andrew. Yeah, f you, Andrew. What's he doing with his life these days? Currently dating the girl he cheated on me with. Oh, f you, Andrew. Get the f out of here. F you, Andrew. You're a b Yeah, f you. F you, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew, you're a piece of yeah, Not to step in, but that's... Man, it sounds like a piece of yeah, This is a beautiful girl. What the f Andrew? Yeah, well, yeah, what do you have to say about Andrew? Oh, I... You know what? I don't fucking like that guy. F Andrew. Yeah, what about know. Andrew Cuomo? F Andrew Cuomo, too. Cuomo! I mean, jeez. Yeah. I've always speculated that aliens could potentially be us in the future. Yeah. I was watching a video today that we played on a podcast earlier of a monkey riding a motorcycle down the street, jumps off the motorcycle and tries to steal a baby. Like, why are you doing that? I don't understand. To be totally frank, I'm not your biggest fan. At a certain point, it's like talking to a tree. Okay, it's just boring. Whoa. You talk to a tree. It's very, not very entertaining. I mean, it's boring if you ask me. What in the fuck? You're just too dumb. <laughs> your brain is slow. You're getting stupid again. Do I really want, does it really make sense for me to spend time in here or should I be allocating that time to getting us to Mars? Uh, I should probably do the latter. <laughs> Is that really how you think? You can aspire to improve. Uh, you can aspire to be less boring. Oh, well, you should stop before I jump back into the game of killing people. This is a tough moral quandary. It's like, what, what you can do? Kill you. Cut out all this nonsense. You're gonna die. Don't take it personally. Um, nobody lives forever. I was with my brother in the football stands in high school when this guy from the other team was in our stands and called my brother the N-word. 
in that moment, I thought of all of the times that I had not defended my brother, all the times that somebody said something racist to him and I ran or hid and didn't say anything and I didn't have any words in that moment. Instead, I rose up and felt nothing but rage and started pounding on this person. My brother was trying to be peaceful and keep everybody okay, but then that guy hit me back. My brother rose up and was like, did you just hit my sister? And we got into it. Ended up being a huge fight and the guy ended up leaving. A couple weeks later, we end up at a heart house party and same guy comes to crash the house party, calls my brother at the N-word again. Again, my brother is trying to keep the peace, but some other kids end up getting into a fight with him. It's a huge blah. People are cracking chairs over each other's heads, all that stuff. My brother sees this guy curled up on the ground, having been beat up by somebody else, and all the rage inside of him comes out. He starts kicking the guy in the head, starts feeling all of the feelings that he felt when people said things to him, horrible, horrible things. He kicks this guy so hard, he ends up having to go to the hospital, the guy. The guy gets an MRI for his head because my brother kicked him in the head. They end up catching a brain tumor. They catch it in time to save this guy's life. My brother's pissed.